Hey, what's going on everyone? Sean from PlantingFire.com here. I know it's been a while, but I've decided to start just doing really loose, open form content because work, crazy busy, the world, crazy busy. But it is Wednesday, April 1st, 2020. Welcome to a quick Planting Fire discussion. So I'm sure plenty of you have been really engaged with the markets over the past couple of weeks due to the whole COVID-19 thing. Um, I have been as well. And like all of you, I've also lost my pants in um, the markets. Now, one thing to keep in mind, and I say this very intentionally, is you don't lose your investments until you've locked in those losses. And what does that mean exactly? If you own, say, 10 shares of a stock at $500 a share and it drops to 12 cents a share, you now own substantially less as far as dollar value. But you haven't actually lost money until you've sold it. So if you sell at 12 cents a share, you certainly locked in those losses. Um, let me show you a little bit about what I mean here. So let's just take a look at the Dow Jones. And I don't do any speculation. I'm not a speculative trader. I just tend to buy indexes and hold them for long periods of time. I'm a young enough person that I have the privilege of time on my side. And I'm trying to make sure I'm on path to retiring early. But let's just take a look. So today, as of April 1st, it is $21,270 as an average in the Dow Jones. Um, now, of course, the five-day view, not looking great. You got lots and lots of downward trends, a couple of bumps up here and there. Um, the one month kind of tells the story. So if we look at the six-month view of the Dow Jones, when this whole pandemic hit, you were talking 29,000, I think it may, nope, not seeing it, but $29,000 for the Dow Jones market. It dropped down as low as $18,591. So. If you were someone who managed to sell out up here and then rebuy down here, you're doing very well. For the rest of us who are not speculative traders, you've been holding and you've been seeing your profits decline, decline, decline. Now, this is where it gets very interesting for me personally, and I've been having this conversation with a lot of my friends, but I'm not ready to call this the bottom. Personally speaking, I I don't speculate, I don't do a lot of that as we were, were saying, but it comes down to the fact that I don't believe that we've hit the true economic downturn that's going to be caused by the coronavirus. And the reason I say that is people are now losing their jobs, um, companies have been quarantined or forced to close for two weeks. I personally don't see anything happening at the end of these two weeks. There's no magic that occurs with viruses after quarantine for two weeks, especially because people um, have been breaking the quarantines. But what it comes down to is this could be two, three months, and I don't think we're gonna see the true economic impact of this for the next, say, three to six months. Um, earnings reports, I think, are gonna tell a story. I think it's gonna be a bit of a bloodbath. I agree with a lot of speculation traders on that. So I am leveraging dollar cost averaging. So essentially, I'm putting the same amount that I would have been putting into any other time during the period and making my investments, taking it directly out of my pay so I don't see it, and over time, this should go back up. And here's the real power here. So let's call it five years. Um, here is the 2017 low. Actually, let me see how far back I can go. So let's call it 2008 when the markets crashed. The Dow Jones was trading at about $7,000 um, for the index, seven grand. And over the next few years, it looks like 2016 is right around when it was at what it is now, 2017. So really, if you bought in at any point during the past 10 years, let's call it the past 12 years, you've made money. If you haven't sold out, you've made substantial amounts of cash. And this is the correction I think the market like has been deserving of. A lot of people have been calling for a correction. This may very well be a part and parcel with the coronavirus, but there's a correction down to 20,000. So you're still at 2017 highs. It's wiped out the last two years of hyper, hyper growth, but right now it's still going strong. And so this is just a quick um, vlog style of video. I'm not going to put too much. I'm not going to put too much more into this. I just wanted to reach out to you guys and talk and and chat for a little bit because let's be honest, I'm also going quite crazy not being able to leave the house. But just know you haven't lost anything until you've locked in your losses, and keep the course. You know, dollar cost averaging. Unless you have to retire now, in which case you need to make some new uh, decisions, just stay the course. The markets always have corrected. They always will correct. Um, and if they don't correct, we're probably in a bigger issue anyway. I'm Sean from PlantingFire.com. I hope you enjoy these vlog style videos. I'm going to probably make these quite frequently as we go through this process. But until next time, I hope you guys have a great trading day. Take care.